is one of the busiest rail networks in the world. Crisscrossing nearly 65,000 kilometers of India's landscape, connecting billions of people a year. As for each day, the railways carry more passengers than the population of Sri Lanka, making it one of the favorite ways for Indians to travel. But it isn't just about getting from one station to another. With journeys that could last more than three days, it's a hospitality experience. An experience where food is a vital ingredient. That's why the Indian Railways decided to create the Indian Railways Catering and Tourism Corporation, or IRCTC. Amongst its many missions, catering high quality and low cost meals on trains. It was in 2001 that IRCTC took off. And uh, the basic idea was that the unorganized sector of uh, catering uh, should be, you know, now put under uh, the a PSU, a public sector unit, which would be more professional. Over the next few years, IRCTC brought in a fresh approach to meals on wheels. They created organized systems for food preparation and delivery, both on board trains and at railway stations. It wasn't easy pleasing the palates of millions of Indians on a daily basis. Everybody has different tastes. Everybody seems to know, if nothing else, at least the food. They, everybody seems to be an expert on food. And therefore, RCTC has to cater to all these people and daily, day in and day out, it has to innovate. It has to think of different ways of satisfying people. It's a huge challenge. Midnight in the IRCTC central kitchen in the national capital region of Delhi. Supervisor Deepak and his crew are on the night shift. It's a critical time in this kitchen because this is when a bulk of the cooking will be done to meet the next day's service target. What are you doing today? Listen. Lecture salad, green salad, 166 kg green salad. And the vegetable will be for the rice, it will be for 14 kg. Okay, sir. Unlike a restaurant, this central kitchen isn't preparing a few hundred meals. It's preparing over 10,000. The menu for IRCTC's various clients is impressive in number and variety. There's breakfast, dinner, lunch and an assortment of snacks and desserts. The cuisine? It ranges from Indian to continental, from Chinese and other specials. IRCTC's menu may be big, but when it comes to pricing, the lesser the better. The prices are fixed according to the uh, capability of the common man to, pro to eat or drink on the platforms or in the train. To provide high quality meals at a low price, it's, it's quite a challenge. It's a challenge that looks something like this. Low cost, high quality, large volumes, hygiene, on time. There's only one kitchen that can check off this list, a mega kitchen. IRCTC's central kitchen has a production area that includes a basement, ground and first floor, each spanning about 10,000 square feet. The basement is for receiving fresh produce and for storehouses. The ground floor is where all the magic happens, in separate sections for vegetarian and non-vegetarian cooking. The first floor is dedicated to the bakery, the roti making section and the halwai or snack section. It takes over 200 employees to run large scale operations in a mega kitchen that has been hard at work since midnight. Amongst the night shift's most important jobs is preparing the mise en place, a French culinary technique. So what's it doing in the IRCTC kitchen? Translated from French, mise en place literally means to put in place. In a kitchen, mise en place is a technique that makes cooking in large volumes fast and efficient. It involves preparing different parts of a recipe well in advance. From sautéing onions to making gravies and prepping vegetables, like pre-baking brinjals. 